Good morning boys and girls. I'm coming to you from Irvinstown this morning and I'm with my friend No Angel. Now as you can see boys and girls, No Angel is not a person. No Angel is a donkey. And I'll come back to why is Andrew standing in Irvinstown with the donkey later on in my talk. But the donkey's, donkey's name is No Angel. Now, I think the reason behind the name is boys and girls is that two little girls, or somebody wanted to call her Angel, but the owner decided she's not a wee bit naughty, so they called her No Angel instead. The No Angel is maybe about 10 to 12 years old, and as you can see, she's very, very quiet and peaceful here this morning. Now, back to why is Andrew standing in Irvingstown with a donkey today? Well, it's Palm Sunday, boys and girls, or it's coming up to Palm Sunday, and I want you to think of the story of Palm Sunday. Jesus rode into Jerusalem. He rode in on a donkey. And if you want to read more about the story of Palm Sunday, you can read it for yourselves in Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 to 9. And I'll tell you all about Jesus riding into Jerusalem on a donkey. But I want to focus more on why did Jesus choose a donkey on Palm Sunday? Now, there's three reasons I've got for you this morning, boys and girls. One, if we go back to the prophets and go into Zechariah chapter 9, verses 9 to 10, it says that a donkey is a sign of peace. Now, if you read of many leaders in the Bible, you read in places like Judges and all the Old Testament, a lot of people who rode on a horse... That horse was to signify maybe war. But when somebody rode in on a donkey in Judges 5 or 2 Samuel, the reason that they rode in on a donkey was to signify peace in Israel. Let's see if she likes a carrot here. Here we go, no angel. No? No carrot. Okay. I'll have to go first. But boys and girls, if I focus more on, that's the first reason. The donkey was to signify peace. And then if I go to the second point, there's another donkey in the Bible. And the donkey belonged to a man called Balaam. Now Balaam had done wrong against God. You can hear the cows now too. Donkey, or Balaam had done wrong against God. And so God decided to talk through his donkey to warn him of his disobedience. And a bit like no angel here. We ourselves are no angels, boys and girls. We have fallen short. We have disobeyed against God. And we know to call that sin. And so Balaam's donkey was there to warn him against sin. And we too need to be warned of the seriousness of sin. But I suppose my favourite point of why did Jesus choose a donkey? Well, because when Jesus came into this world, before he'd even come into this world... As he's in his mom, mother's tummy, Mary, he rode on a donkey to Jerusalem or to Bethlehem where he was going to be born. And so that donkey carried baby Jesus into Bethlehem. And here he is now, a grown man, 30 something years later, and he's still riding on the donkey. And just as uh, no angel's getting tired here because her head's dropping, when Mary was tired, the donkey carried Mary. But 30 years later, probably a different donkey, boys and girls. The donkey's carrying Jesus. And if I get Dad just to zoom in on her back, I don't know if you've ever noticed, boys and girls, but when you come to have a close look at a donkey, you'll see on a donkey's back that it's got a cross. And how wonderful is that? That the donkey that carried Jesus is a baby, the donkey that warned us of our sin, the donkey that was prophesied well before Jesus' birth, they would come in peace as the Prince of Peace. That that Jesus who rode on the donkey on Palm Sunday would come to save us from our sins. And so that's why when Jesus was on that donkey on Palm Sunday, people shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna. And Hosanna means to save, to rescue. And that's exactly what Jesus did that week later when he died on the cross for us 
on Palm, or the week after Palm Sunday. So next time you look at a donkey, boys and girls, remember, donkey's not just an animal. A donkey has lots of meanings to it. I mean, you look at the Bible, there's some great stories about donkeys. So, enjoy your Sunday. It's bye from me, bye from No Angel, and happy Palm Sunday.